Welcome back guys, just a video to summarise the fairway work we recently carried out. Sorry, forgive me if I sound a bit bunged up, I'm a bit under the weather today, but um, we'll just crack on regardless. You'll see the starting point we had, so that's, you know, quite poor coverage on the fairway. And, you know, just the seed channels from the previous overseeding we did. Now it's time to get those seed channels to fill out a little bit more and get complete coverage over the fairway. And that is what this work that we just carried out is for. But on Monday we had a break in the weather, this allowed us to get the mowers out and just cut them before we started this work as well as getting some wetting agent and the liquid fertiliser out on the greens and tees. Uh, it also gave us good weather to start this process. So we began by holocoring the entire 8 fairway and half of 17. So we wanted to take a, as small a core as possible and just sort of prick, you know, that top 10 to 15 millimetres. As this is, you know, the ideal depth to break up those cores and then also drop some seed into those holes that we've just made. We then got to breaking those cores up. We used an old set of scarifier units as well as our tractor brush as well. Keep going up. We kept going over them until those cores were nice and loose. The goal was to break those cores down as much as possible, break that soil up, and leave something for our seed to bind onto so it's got a great chance of germination. On the screen is, you know, the finished product after we've done all that work. The 8th fairway definitely went better than the 17th. I think it's 17 started to get a bit wet whilst we were finishing that work. But either way, we're still happy with the finish there as well. We then got to overseeding uh, yesterday and we used an A28 mix. Uh, I'll pop up the seed mix on the screen for you so you can see it. You can see from the video on the screen, it was a very generous mix. Lots of seed going into the holes and lots of seed going on top, ready to bind into that soil as well. We covered a lot of ground with our little drops ready yesterday, so I'm a little bit sore today actually. And then our green compost waste arrived and that's what Mick's doing right now, finishing off, just finishing off the final job. Green waste is full of nutrients and it's a great material to improve soil condition and you know, really encourage that seed to germinate as well. The important thing now is recovery, so we need to keep foot traffic to an absolute minimum on these fairways. There is a sign on both the 17th and 18th tee and it states that going to the left hand side of the fairway is your best option to get to the green on the end, at the end of the hole. Try to go right or follow the ropes and then the, the painted lines at the end of the, end of the ropes area. Uh, this will send you around the back of the green and then if you decide to do the same on 17th, go right then please follow the roped area and take the path to the 9th tee to access the green on the 17th pole. So the, fa the fairways can be played, so don't think that you can't actually play the fairways. What you do is stick to the ropes at the side of the fairways, wait until you get parallel to your ball, step on the fairway, take your shot and then step back off in as little steps as possible. You'll then continue to follow the ropes down to the end of the hole where you'll be near the green and all this is is looking to minimise the amount of foot traffic we've got going on these fairways. If you, if you are playing general playing and would prefer to play the semi-rough or tee your ball up, you're welcome to do so. But the only essential thing really is to keep trolleys and buggies off these fairways now whilst they start their recovery process. As always, thank you so much for your patience whilst we carried this work out. And you know, in the future, looks like temperatures are warming, so it's a great indication that our seed is going to germinate. So fingers crossed. So thank you very much, guys.